Now, one thing that I was thinking about, and we're going to get into the video in like a second, but one thing that I was thinking about earlier today, I'm like, man, I have really been seeing y'all every single day uh, for like the past four years. There'll be a day here and there where we won't see each other, but literally like pretty much 99% of every single day we've seen each other for like the past four years, maybe even five. I don't know, but I appreciate y'all. I love y'all so much, and, and I, I thank you for just supporting this channel uh, and, and making Team Keep It Clean what it is. Uh, just a lot of positive people um, just talking about football, mostly talking about the Ravens, really talking about whatever with football. And it being a safe environment. Hey, if you got an opinion on something, you could share it. Ain't nobody going to be like, oh, man, you're stupid. And no, we're we not on that. Somebody disagrees. Okay, they disagree. Respectfully. Somebody agrees. Okay, they agree. Respectfully. Everything done with respect. And it should be done with respect. And if it's not done with respect, then bye. But anyway, I, I, I love y'all. And I really appreciate y'all a lot. For real. Um, for anybody that's not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything. Because regular season is like right around the corner. Uh, but we're still in preseason for now. And somebody who wants to play in the preseason game, the Ravens preseason finale, is Lamar Jackson. What do y'all think about that? Now, of course, John Harbaugh, he was having his presser uh, a few days ago and speaking to the media. Uh, and he let it be known, like, hey, yeah, Lamar Jackson, he wants to play in this last preseason game. Now, Lamar Jackson, I believe the last time he played in a preseason game was the infamous J.K. Dobbins uh, game where he got injured versus the Commanders uh, right on that first drive. In that first drive, they ran a screen play, and Bradley Bozeman missed the block. J.K. got hurt. I don't remember who the defender was. It wasn't no dirty play or nothing like that. Just tackled him, fell the wrong way, and that was a wrap. Um, so I believe that was the last time Lamar Jackson played a preseason game. Now, um, I know it's going to be a lot of mixed opinions on this thing. Some people may feel like, hey, Lamar should play. Some people may feel like, hey, no, nah, Lamar should not play. Um, me, I'm, I guess I'm right in the middle of all of that Because initially, like, when I saw Harbaugh said, hey, did Lamar wants to play I was thinking like, well, I mean, it is preseason I don't know about that one, buddy But then, um, you think about it and when was the last time Lamar Jackson did play? Obviously, he's been practicing and everything He's been at training camp, been a full goal for all of that, which is great Um, but when the last time he played in a meaningful game And... The preseason games are not meaningless, but um, last time he played in a meaningful game what was it was it November December of this past season? Because what he missed a he missed a obviously the playoff game, but what he missed the last four games I think or the last five games I forget what it was, but he the last time he played was like November December of two thousand twenty two, um so that was that was it that was it. Uh, I'm glad that he didn't play against the Commanders because. Uh, I would be worried that they may take some cheap shots uh, against him, especially with the whole Mark Andrews thing, with just the whole preseason streak thing. I just there could have been some foul play there, so I'm glad he didn't play in that game. Uh, but against the Bucks, uh, could he play like a series or two? He could, and he might. Uh, we will see if uh, Coach John Harbaugh grants Lamar Jackson that request. Um, cause I, I mean, I, we certainly wouldn't mind seeing him, seeing him and some of the starters from offense and whatnot, seeing him and like every time we done seen Zay out there, uh, he just continued to wow us. But like I said with Zay, Hey, I, he ain't got nothing else to show. He ain't got nothing else to show. He ain't got nothing else, nothing, nothing else to prove. We don't need to see nothing else from Zay Flowers until week one. So if I were them, I would keep him out. But then at the same time, it's like, oh, if Lamar playing, I think Zay will probably want to play too a little bit. Maybe Odell might want to play suit up. Maybe Nelson Aguilar. Maybe. Just maybe. And I could see him playing just to, again, knock some rust off a bit. Just shake it off a bit and just be like, all right, yeah, yeah, I'm back. Maybe, yeah, throw a couple passes or whatnot. Do a couple little handoffs or whatnot. And just, just go out there and do your thing. E even if it resulted in a punt, just to be out there. Uh, just for a tiny bit I could see why he would want to do that I could definitely see that So if he played I'd be like, alright cool um, If I had to lean to one side or, or another Whether I felt like he should play or not uh, <laughs> I'll probably lean more towards or not But I mean hey It, it, it is what it is uh, he'll, If he plays he'll be fine He'll be fine I, I know he would just throw some quick passes or whatnot Maybe take it like a deep shot or two And then call it a day and call it a day Whether he played one series Whether he played two series It wouldn't be nothing crazy I don't think um, So yeah So we'll see If, if they go for it Now um, On the flip side of that 
some reasons why maybe he shouldn't play. Doesn't need to. It's not a big deal. Uh, because, I mean, unfortunately, we've seen Lamar Jackson uh, miss the end of the season before. Uh, and when he came back, he was just fine. He was straight. So, uh, like, when he came back in the regular season, he, he was just fine. He, so he ain't missed nothing. He wasn't like, oh, man, Lamar Jackson, he missed his time last year. Now he's out of sync with the team. No, no, he was fine. So that could be just the same thing, why he doesn't need to play. Of course, there's always the, the, the risk of injury in a, uh, in a preseason, and we hate seeing that. That's, that is the worst, the absolute worst. And us Ravens fans, we, we know, I mean, even without preseason games, we know all about injuries. Uh, the way that this Ravens team has been just really over the past, like, three years alone, that's turned us all into medical experts. Like, we all have learned so much about the body we've all learned so much about different bones and whatnot the way that they're structured we learned about different muscles and whatnot we've learned about strength we've learned about conditioning we all have learned so much about all of that as ravens fans especially these past three years because we've heard so many extensive and detailed reports about this that and the third and we tired of it like we tired of it some of y'all out there are doctors and whatnot y'all got these bachelor's master's doctorate degrees and whatnot but there are a lot of us that now, with everything that the Ravens have been through, we got that same level of education without having had to go to school for all them years and whatnot. We got the same level of education because we know all about the body now. So it's, it's, it's been crazy to see and crazy to watch. And hopefully this is the year where we don't have to just see any of that. None of it. So those would be some reasons why I think Lamar, you could sit this one out, my friend. But again... He, he'll be fine. If he plays, it'll be fine. Now, um, another thing to think about, and somebody brought this up, and this is a really good point, because um, somebody could be like, well, he's learning a new offense. He's in a new offense, and he's only been in this new offense in practice. He's only been in a practice training camp and all that, uh, but he hasn't gone up against a real defense. Now, not that he would be going up against a, a real defense, because, you know, again, three seasons, so it's super vanilla and whatnot, uh, but they be throwing little stuff here and there at you. Um, but... Uh, they could be like, oh, right, Lamar, new offense, maybe he might struggle or whatnot, maybe get some, get some of the kinks out or whatnot. But something that somebody, a point that somebody brought out, um, oh, I forgot who it was, my apologies. And this was on Twitter, well, X, whatever you want to call it. He talked about how a lot of people will say Lamar Jackson, oh, he might struggle this year in a new offense because it's a brand new offense. It's like, okay. Then he was like, well, with that, remember in from going from Louisville, to the NFL That's obviously a new offense Because he went from uh, Louis, He went from college To working with Under offensive coordinator Marty Morningweg With the Ravens It was his rookie year Marty Morningweg was the offensive coordinator But then From 2018 to 2019 He entered a brand new offense Because Greg Roman was offensive coordinator He became the offensive coordinator then So that's a brand new offense so he switched and then he just became well, this MVP, unanimous MVP, whatever. So he did just fine in a brand new offense. Then, like, so two years straight. Well, actually three years straight because college, one offense, Louisville. 2018, one offense, Morning Wake. 2019, new offense, Greg Roman. So Lamar Jackson has been through new offenses before and had success. Remember his, his first year, uh, what, he went 6-1 and one or 7-1? and one? In his rookie year, after Joe Flacco went down with injury, then his second year in a new offense in the NFL, he went 14-2. and two. So new offenses have not been a struggle for Lamar Jackson. And I'm not saying that he's going to come out here and it's going to be perfect, but I think that that fear of Lamar Jackson in a new offense may be a bit overblown. And when my guy had brought, brought out that point, I was like, oh, that is a uh, – Really, really good point and something that I had not really thought about. But that kind of eases, it should ease a lot of Ravens fans' concerns about the Ravens in this new offense. Because Lamar Jackson is the leader and obviously this offense goes as Lamar goes. So, yeah, that's just something to think about. But anyway, team keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you for everything that you do. Happy Friday. Happy Purple Friday. You got a game tomorrow. And yeah. It should be a fun weekend. I love y'all. Y'all stay up. Y'all keep your heads up. If you got something that you're going through right now, please, please just keep pushing. You got it. You got it. You're going to get it. You're going to get it for sure. We know you will. We all got your back. Love you, and we out.